this is what we came for. The Cowboys came to start getting ready for the football season. This is what we came for. The weather in Oxnard, California. Welcome again, everyone, to Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford. I'm Brad Sham with Mickey Spagnola. This weather, I know you get tired of hearing about it if you're watching in Texas, but it really is important to the kind of work that they are able to get done. It's why they come out here, along with the natural soft grass field, and that work started getting done today. There was a walk through this morning. It's at a pretty crisp pace. Uh, the practice today and the practice tomorrow mandated, not in pads, but that doesn't mean you can't start seeing some things. And one of the first things they saw was Randy Gregory wearing a football suit. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, he's been cleared to be out here. Now he's, they're being very cautious with bringing him along since he's played, uh, Brad, like two games in two years. Uh, so they've got him working with the strength and conditioning coach. But the thing that struck me is they've got this big hoop. And one of the things the defensive ends uh, practice on is running around in this circle, but keeping their lean in like they're rushing around the corner as a defensive end. And you should have seen him do it. It was like he wasn't here. And when I saw him in the parking lot as we were walking up here uh, this afternoon, it was like, did you bring one of those things home with you? Because it looks like you're still as good as you were last time we saw you. So I thought that was encouraging. His answer was, yeah, I had to improvise a little bit, but I've been working on it. So I just thought for the first day, the first walkthrough, uh, it was very encouraging, and it was encouraging to see just how engaged and how happy he was to be back with the team. Clear-eyed and, and uh, it will engage you, as Mickey said, in whatever conversation you want. The, the other part about that that's so important is the reception that he's gotten from his teammates. Clearly, they have a very high regard for him. Now, there was another little piece of news that kind of came out of yesterday's opening press conference about safety Kayvon Frazier. He's got a blood disorder that's keeping him off the field now, hopefully not for long, but it does point up some of the thinness at the safety position. Yeah, absolutely. So he's not practicing. They put him on uh, non-football illness lists. And what it is, is he's having a clotting problem. So they're doing tests. There's a way to control that with medicine, but they're testing him right now to make sure what he can do, what he can't do, uh, and what he could take to make sure he can play football. Uh, so, gosh, Brad, that when you look at the safety position without him there, um, so you've got Xavier Woods at free safety, Jeff Heath at strong safety, and then when we start talking about guys that have played, uh, uh, that, that's just about it, right? Because they're, they're thin at the safety position to start with. I see a lot of opportunities. <laughs> there will be a lot of young men get reps. Jamel Showers, who is still here after being on the practice squad for a couple of years, is a full-time safety now. Uh, and there are some other young defensive backs that they're interested in. That they This is the kind of time of year, I, I, mean, I don't mean to flash my age, but you know, Mike Downs and Everson Walls made this team as uh, rookie free agents. And they did it in training camp and the preseason. And so, started as rookie free And started free agents. as rookie free agents. So you don't know which one of these guys might be one of those. But uh, they would very much hope to get Kayvon Frazier back. Now, opportunity is what a training camp is really all about for most players. When we come back, Lindsey Draper has got the story of a young man with some Texas ties who would like to finally land with a star on his helmet. That's when we come back on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, is brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number, the new Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep, only at a Sleep Number store. And by Ford, visit your local Texas Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. This segment is brought to you by Sleep Number. The new Sleep Number 360 smart bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep, only at a Sleep Number store. Get some background on the 90 players the Cowboys have with them here at training camp with the Star Magazine training camp preview. There's a position by position analysis, a story on Jason Garrett, 
everything you need to know about this team heading into training camp. Go to shop.dallascowboys.com to get your print edition. In Oxnard, it's Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford, Brad Sham, Mickey Spagnola, and Lindsey Draper has done a series of interviews with young men trying to crack the lineup, trying to make this team. One of them is a Texan who some Cowboy fans will be familiar with. KD Cannon, wide receiver, Baylor University. You may recognize the name. That's because KD Cannon has been a Cowboy before. A practice squad member in 2017, Cannon has bounced around to the 49ers, Jets, and Rams since. But Cannon is back for one more shot, and he knows he has much to prove. Uh, I just got to learn the playbook. That's really been my downfall everywhere I've been. And just keeping the right mindset. But physically, the tools are all there. In fact, we asked all the players this offseason who's the fastest player on this team. Well, everyone answered either Cannon or Tavon Austin. And Cannon agrees it's his best quality. Uh, speed over the top. In just three seasons at Baylor, Cannon left ranked third in catches, receiving yards, and touchdowns. He even ran track and helped the team make the NCAA championship in the 4x100 relay. Adversity, you know, just had a lot of stuff happen on our university and prepared me for this. Watch for Cannon to explode, literally and figuratively, down the field during an upcoming preseason game. Lindsay, thank you. I don't know what KD Cannon's chances are, but I do know this. We started to get a little bit of a look at how these receivers are going to line up today. Mickey and I are going to talk about that when we come back on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford. This segment was brought to you by Sleep Number. The new Sleep Number 360 Smart Bed helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep, only at a Sleep Number store. Dallas Cowboys single game tickets starting at $30 are on sale now. Don't miss your chance to see the Cowboys live at AT&T Stadium this season. Visit DallasCowboys.com to get your tickets before they're gone. Welcome back to Oxnard, California. It's Inside Cowboys Training Camp brought to you by Ford, Brad Sham, Mickey Spagnola. As we mentioned, the first practice was today, first walk through this morning. No team versus team work, but they do line up in a team period. So here's a couple of the things that jumped out at me. On the offensive side of the ball, um, Deontay Thompson, in the absence of Terrence Williams, lined up opposite Alan Hearns at wide receiver. I thought I saw Blake Jarwin at tight end taking the first snap. Jeff Swain was in on about the third snap. What jumped out at you? You know, I was watching the defensive line. We've been talking about the defensive line. The Cowboys somewhat worried about that. No David Irving, no Malik Collins. So uh, Jihad Ward was lining up at the three technique. Dayton Jones lining up at the one technique. And then when they went to the second team defensive ends, Taco Charlton was the left defensive and on the right side it was Coney Ely. So that kind of gives us an idea of where the coaching staff thinks they are at a couple of those positions on the defensive line. Coaches would be the first one to say, don't read anything into this, but someone's got to come out for the first snap, and when they send the first guys out, there's a little of something to be read into it. So uh, today's first practice is in the books. Uh, one more session like this tomorrow. Mickey and I will rejoin you from Oxnard tomorrow on Inside Cowboys Training Camp, brought to you by Ford. Inside Cowboys Training Camp, presented by Ford, was brought to you by AT&T. More for your thing, that's our thing. Sleep Number, the new Sleep Number 360 smart bed, helps everyone from parents to pros improve their performance through quality sleep, only at a Sleep Number store. Ford, visit your local Texas Ford dealer. Ford is the best in Texas. And by the Dallas Cowboys Football Club. Want to tour AT&T Stadium? For more information, call 817-892-TOUR or visit attstadium.com slash tours.